Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Budapest travel vlog. This coffee is very much needed. Whenever I get back from traveling, I'm just absolutely worn out and exhausted. So we have got two shots of coffee in here. So this video is gonna serve as either your travel guide or if you just wanna see what I got up to, but seriously, this is the perfect way to spend 72 hours in Budapest. If you love good food, good scenery, like nice vibes, just chilled, this is gonna be your perfect like guide for a girl's trip or even a couple's trip. It was genuinely one of my favorite city breaks I've ever been on. I just loved it so much. Like the food was incredible. The atmosphere was amazing. It was such a relaxed environment. There was so much things to see. It was picturesque. I just adored it so much. I genuinely could not recommend it enough to anyone to go there and it's fairly reasonably priced as well for a city in terms of you know how much you're spending when you're there so yeah a big part of my trip every time I go away is always fashion and obviously what I'm wearing and I like to look nice and I like to take good pictures I did place an order with a brand called S Deer before I went away but unfortunately I didn't have enough time to like try them on and pack them but these are like perfect items if you're going for a spring sort of city break because the weather is still a little bit hit and miss there was some days where I was really hot when I was away and other days I was cold. So I'm going to show you what I got because if I do say so myself, I feel like I picked out great staples which you could probably take all this stuff and be covered for your whole trip so yeah it's a brand i hadn't heard of before they reached out to me and i was like well i may as well try them out like i love trying out new brands and obviously sharing it with you guys as well if you go on their website you'll see it's mainly like neutrals and monochromes so if you love black white a little bit of beige that's basically all you're going to find on their website which you know suits me down to the ground i am trying to wear more color now but it does suit me really well and some of the pieces are quite edgy a little bit different than what i'd normally go for but i thought you know what i'm going to try and find the pieces that suit my style the best and maybe next time around we'll step outside of our comfort zones and try something a bit cooler but the first thing i went for is this trench coat it's a beautiful beige one of my favorite colors to wear a trench is just such a timeless piece as you guys know i have loads of these in my wardrobe i wear them time and time again what i like about this one is i don't know if you can see it but up close it has a little hound's tooth detailing all over it so it just adds a little something something to a trench coat which would normally be more of a basic piece the quality of this is gorgeous it's really well made it's got lots of structuring you've got these nice pockets on the front and the flap detailing i then went for this because i thought this would be perfect like as an in-between piece as well and i've never actually tried one of these before this is a sleeveless trench coat so what i loved about this one is although it is just a taupey sort of beige color it's got a sheen to it i don't know if that's going to show on the camera or not but it's got like a bluey sheen almost a little bit shiny like please tell me you can see what i mean by that it's just a really pretty sheen that it has so you've got all these buttons that run down the front it's quite long so i feel like on me this is going to be very long and then you've just got this relaxed belt which you can cinch it in as well again lovely quality I've got all my pieces in a size small, which is 10 to 12. I'm really getting into my blouses at the minute, and I loved this blouse that I came across on their website because it's very lightweight and floaty, which is perfect for you know a nice warm day, but then you've got the long sleeves, which cover your arms up too, if you wanna keep the sun off them. And this one has a really pretty detailing on the front. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of got like a wrap over detail. So I watch Freya Farrington, I'm sure you guys do as well. And she actually picked this same one up. So when I saw it, I was like, it must be nice because she always dresses very smart and put together and she had this as well. So I was like, yeah, I'm glad I ordered that now. For a little bit of a breezy, a day if you're having one of those i went for this cardigan just like a nice cropped cardigan in a stunning taupe color i love taupe it has silver buttons on the front i love the fact you've got the balloon sleeve i'm a massive fan of a balloon sleeve it's really nice and soft fabric and really lovely quality but what i love about these pieces is you can just chuck them on with some like joggers to the airport you could chuck this on with some leggings which how, probably how i'll style it even with a pair of shorts like just to keep that warmth with a little cami underneath and then last but not least when you still want a trench but you want something you can quite literally fold up and put it in your handbag because it's very lightweight and not one of those heavy thick ones i also went for this trench you're obviously going to see these better on but it's just like a very lightweight linen trench so 
there's not much to it but it's still going to cover you up when it's cold just to take that chill off you of course i've managed to get you a discount code as always which i will leave on the screen and down below for you guys as well i'll leave links to all these pieces alongside their website have a look through their website there will be some pieces that you might think oh god that's like very edgy and different but then you'll also just find your normal like smart pieces like these ones as well some of you out there might be a lot cooler than me so you might be able to pull off everything but i was a little bit afraid so i thought we'll start here and we'll build up next time i try them out but thank you to sd for working with me on this video and for being a part of my travel experience because I'm very excited to take you to budapest now guys and yeah let's let the travel vlog commence <laughs> and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my budapest vlog so we've literally just got here it is 11 30 i think it's 10 30 uk time and we've both had about two hours sleep we had to get up at like three in the morning to go to the airport and i think i was awake till like gone one rebecca went to theater last night didn't you what did you yeah. go see mousetrap mousetrap yeah was it good yeah, I didn't even ask you yet actually <laughs> but um, I think she didn't get home until like midnight either she had a theatre trip in London so yeah we're both tired we had a couple of drinks at the airport which got me through the flight because if you're a regular around here you'll know that I literally hate flying and actually I was literally fine so I had a little pillow and put some music on and it just like calmed my nerves so I definitely recommend that for anyone that doesn't like flying like me but yeah we've just checked in they've let us in here early and we're just about to freshen up and then we're going to go for some lunch we're going to a place called Mazeltov which has been recommended and I think it's like meze sort of hummus and that's <laughs> is it mediterranean. mediterranean food so we're very much looking forward to that we had a little egg and sausage mcmuffin sort of thing at weatherspoons but i'm very hungry so yeah we're gonna freshen up head off out and the weather's looking quite nice so we've both packed like kind of kind of summery we've got some trousers as well but i pretty much packed like loads of shorts and stuff like that so i'm hoping the weather holds out but yeah the weather is nice the sun's out so we're gonna get ready and go so guys we've just arrived thought i'd do a little room tour so we're staying at hotel barcelo when you first walk in you get this little section here so the sink and that's actually outside of the bathroom which initially i thought was weird then we came to the conclusion it's actually quite a good thing and then this is the bathroom so you just have the toilet and the shower separate it's like a really big walk-in shower as well i'm not sure what room we paid for but i think we only paid about 300 maybe 350 for the three nights for this over a weekend as well so i think we got a really good price and it's in a really good location i think it's in the jewish quarter and the taxi driver was saying it's like a really nice place to stay so this is the bed we just opted for the large like twin bed option We've got this nice open plan wardrobe space little fridge as well and then we also have this space we have a desk and then just a little seating area we even have a balcony you can't actually like get outside but this does open up so that's quite nice so at least we get some fresh air and this just looks onto the street We've just unpacked like the organized queens we are so i've done a reel on my instagram already so you might recognize some of these outfits but this is what i've bought with me so i got this from in the style literally a few days ago and i'm really obsessed with it it's really pretty it's a little play suit and then i've also got this shirt which is from zara i'm gonna wear this with a pair of camel shorts and then i've got this suit set from primark and then this like green bodysuit to go with it as well just a few jackets i've got my odd muse blazer which i wear all the time and then i've also got a h&m short trench coat too and then yeah i've just got my skorts and shorts from zara here pretty much everything is from zara accessories down here some sunglasses jewelry is anna luisa and then also pd piola and then yeah that's basically it really and then shoes down here as well so they're primark h&m river island and sheen So guys, we just got to Mazeltov restaurant and look how gorgeous this is. 
it's, it's reminding me a little bit of, um, you know Covent Garden, that the bit inside? I don't know what it's called. This is what it's like. It's all open up here. It's really pretty. So guys, we're back from lunch. Honestly, the lighting. I need to figure out where to put, oh, let's put you on here. You're on top of the bed. I feel like I need a good angle here. It's always a challenge when you go somewhere new to find a good spot to film. This will just have to make do for now, but yeah, I'll try and figure it out. We came back to the hotel just to freshen up. It's now caught to three. Oh my God, that lunch was literally insane. If you come to Budapest, you seriously need to go there. It was amazing. Like the nicest food I've had in a long time. The portions were ridiculous, but there was so much. Like the only thing I'd say is don't get the cocktail we have, which was called the sexy mango, only because it had beer in it. I literally sipped it. I was like, this this tastes like beer. And then um, we read the menu. We're like, oh, it has got beer in it. We didn't realize. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend the cocktail, but that's just a fault of ours. But everything else was amazing. The food was incredible. The service was great. As you would have seen, it looked absolutely beautiful in there like it was so nice so yeah i definitely recommend going there it's always nice when you go and have a good meal on holiday i feel like food is such a big part of my like travel experience so i'm happy that i've had a nice first meal but yeah we came back to freshen up the weather's quite nice today it's not like hot hot but at the same time it's it's warm enough to dress for spring so i'll show you my outfit in a second i've got on a new outfit from zara which i really like just like smart casual and we're just gonna head off out now have a little wander around get our bearings and then we'll have dinner much later because we're so full at the minute i will introduce rebecca on my channel properly later as well she's been in one vlog i think before last summer for literally about 10 seconds but she's not like on social media or anything like that so i'm not sure how much she'll be in this vlog but i you know i'll put her in it as and when she wants to be sort of thing but yeah we're just off out now we're gonna try and find some cute spots maybe get a few cocktails as well we've only had quite a lot today like i had three <laughs> double gins before i got on the plane which then completely wore off by the time we got here and we'll we just have that cocktail then i'm in serious need of some water as well like, i'm so thirsty it's a joke at this point anyways let me go show you my outfit so yeah this is the outfit i'm wearing so this shirt is from zara you might have seen it if you watched my recent zara haul i've then got these shorts which are also zara i'm really enjoying wearing like blue and camel at the minute i think it's a really nice combination then i've got some black sandals on these are from h&m feel like they're hermes hermes however you say it dupes and then i'm going to use this bag my jack and moose bag to tie the black together and then i've also got these black sunglasses on as well which are from h&m too my makeup is just like it's quite tanned looking but um i've just got mascara on not lashes do them later the light in here is quite nice but anyways we're gonna head off out now and i'll catch up with you in a little bit guys we just walked down i think it's called the Danube, and we're now just sitting here this is the beautiful parliament building there's things going on this weekend because our taxi driver told us and i can't actually remember but basically the pope is coming tomorrow isn't he yes and did you say the pres president this isn't about the president there was basically all these seats you would have seen it in the last clip but yeah there was all these chairs i think he maybe thought we were going there for that but we didn't even know it was on but yeah we're just sitting here now the sun keeps coming out it's really lovely and we're just waiting until four o'clock so we can go to this rooftop bar. So guys, we're just at Higher Note Sky Bar. It's really, really lovely. I definitely recommend coming down here. The weather is beautiful. I can say we did not expect it to be like this today. So I've got a, what is it? 
Mango, mango mimosa. And what have you gone for? Uh, some sort of gin and tonic. It tastes like, like a pear drop. Yeah, it's a type pear. <laughs> but these are so good, and it definitely redeems itself compared to earlier when we had that dodgy <laughs> cocktail that we mispicked. So yeah, cheers. So guys, we're still here. It's now gone six o'clock. Cocktail number we on? Is it four or five? Is it? Five? It's not five, is it? We've had a strawberry daiquiri. I've had two four. mango four. thingies. I feel like it was, I had something out. Maybe not. But number four, cocktail number four. Anyway, they're very weak, so don't worry about it. But we definitely recommend that you come to this place. We love it so much that we don't even want to leave, do we? No. We're having a great time. <laughs> it's just really chilled. Like, look at this. The sun is beautiful. We're nice and warm. We're having a lovely time. It's now quarter to seven. We're just on our way back to the hotel. So we had four cocktails in the end. Honestly, we loved it there. I know we've said that a million times, but we had a really nice time. We met a lovely couple from Chippenonga, I think, wasn't it? Chippen Norton. Chippen Norton, even. <laughs> Chippen Norton. That's, where we're, that's why I thought it was Essex. Anyways, they basically live right near Clarkson's farm. And she said her claim to fame was that Caleb's mum used to groom her dog or something like that. So we had a lovely chat with her. It's just nice. We're just saying it's nice to meet... Um, it's just nice to meet people, isn't it? Yeah, just chat to different people. To see their life story, why they're here, what they're doing, and all that stuff. So yeah, we're just on our way back to the hotel now, and um, we're gonna get a bottle of wine for the room, some water, and then we're gonna chill for a little bit, freshen up again for the second time, and then we will head off out for food. I think tonight we're gonna go to somewhere called The Ruins, which is right near our hotel. It's basically quite literally ruins and there's loads of bars and restaurants there as well so it looks really nice to be fair like so far so good everything we've had we've loved we're just like rating it 10 out of 10 aren't we at this point i think yes <laughs> so hopefully dinner tonight will make us think the same but be the same yeah i'm sure it will yeah, i'll get copyrighted for the music right guys it's what time is it it's 20 past eight we've had a very nice slow evening we've got back let me just Oh, they've put away, aren't they? It doesn't matter that much, but we went to the little corner shop here and we got some little chocolate and vanilla croissants. They were really nice, like mini ones. At first, I didn't like them. I feel like I yes, slated them. The and then I got into them and then I ended up eating like three. I think I had like three or maybe even four. Three. Well, three. Three each. Yeah. yeah they, were, they were good. We like, They're a nice little snack because we had our lunch at like, I think it was like one o'clock. So yeah, we've gone a while without eating, to be fair. I bought a bottle of wine, which I'm not going to lie, wasn't my favourite. It was rated quite highly, but I'm just not a wine girl so i did struggle with it to the point where well, i downed it but i haven't actually finished it yet so i need i need to finish this before we go out well yeah we've had a nice like slow day drinking so I, I don't feel like i'm too drunk or anything like that i don't even really feel that tipsy i mean probably am but i don't feel like it we're gonna go to the ruins like i said i think we're gonna go to a place called vicky vicky's is that vicky's, right yeah vicky's it looks really nice i'll vlog on my phone but this is the last bit you'll get from me to stay on the camera and then there's loads of little bars there as well so we're just gonna like try the bars out but it's literally like a road from our hotel so so far my recommendation is to stay where we're staying because the hotel's nice it's clean it's spacious really affordable and it seems to be in a very good location. So yeah, we're happy. I thought I'd just quickly show you my outfit as well. One second. So this is what I'm wearing. The little play suit from in the style that I mentioned earlier. It's very, I think it's quite flattering because it has this nice like crossover detailing in the middle. It's a little bit short, but it's fine. I like the fact it's long sleeve as well. So yeah, I'm going to pop some white sandals on with this. Can't be bothered to wear heels tonight. Also, I've rubbed off on Rebecca with all the blue. Literally, I'm obsessed with blue. This is Zara and Primark, isn't Primark, it? Primark, yeah. Primark, yeah, cute. Good morning guys, it's currently 10.22 and we're just off out for some breakfast. The place we're going to is, it's spelled like so simply, but <laughs> probably simply, we don't really know. Yeah, we're off for some breakfast now. We had a nice night last night. I think we got in by about half 11, so it wasn't too bad. And the place where the food was really good, really enjoyed it. The only thing I wouldn't recommend was 
the dip you'll see that basically had like really green and then eggplant wasn't it yes that one i just felt like it was really bitter but other than that everything was really good we had this little burger which i'm not even a beef burger person and i actually really liked it what was our favorite thing the pulled pork wasn't it yeah yeah. like pulled pork on this bread it was really nice in terms of the bars i'm not gonna lie we weren't really feeling the music we are yet to find somewhere with music we like but that will be our challenge for tonight so yeah we're both very very hungry so we're desperate for food we've just been told about the bus tour what what's your company called can we Pop see your logo on your on oh on your the logo on your there we go that's the brand yeah so this and is what we, we are can do. now here this Buddha and Pesht and every 10 minutes, 15 minutes we have the bus Yeah. you can stop, you go out as you like yeah. and inclusive the boat daytime, night time and the bus, you want to go to the spa the bus will bring you to the spa you want to go to the Buddha castle also you can visit everywhere where you want to I don't know her, I like her yeah. she's very fucking friendly <laughs> you have to ask your mom please maybe yes. she was in Colombia hop on, hop on. maybe she hop on in Colombia <laughs> because you have lovely color sweet thank you So guys, we have had a breakfast. Oh my God, that breakfast was insane. And like you would have seen, there was peas on the plate, there was pickled cabbage and all sorts. Definitely not stuff I would have put together for a breakfast, but it just goes to show how like amazing foods can be when you combine them. Cause yeah, it was literally amazing. I loved it so much. And it was nice and light as well. Like I don't feel bloated. I don't feel like I've eaten too much. I feel nice and refreshed. I had nice apple juice as well and coffee. It didn't actually quite do it, so I had an espresso shot afterwards, which I actually said to her, could I have sugar? And they were like, we have no sugar policy here because uh, it can ruin the taste of the, the coffee beans and because of the quality they use. I was like, it's a bit weird. But anyway, I tried the coffee and I can see why because it was like naturally sweet. It was really lovely. The nicest coffee I've ever had, ever. So yeah, I'm just waiting for Rebecca to go to the loo. She's just in the loo at the minute. And then we're going to go to a little rooftop bar the area we're going to today is literally gorgeous i'm not sure what it's called but obviously you'll see it in a minute and yeah it just looks really really beautiful there's over archways some very nice photo opportunities as well and um, oh yeah my outfit of the day is this shirt which is from h&m it's like a crinkled white shirt i've then got this white skirt on louis vuitton bag and then white sandals and my h&m glasses which are wonky a lot of my makeup's coming off my forehead which is annoying but So we're currently in the fisherman's bastion area and look at our view we're just having a cocktail just gone for these which are i think they're called caramel mo not mojito martini. martini yeah caramel martini it's got baileys in there caramel not sure what else but they look really good we'll try them in a second yeah we're having a really nice time this bit's all enclosed yeah. all like glass and stuff because it is a little bit cold today which we're a little bit disappointed by because yesterday it was really warm and it was actually meant to be hot today wasn't it but for some reason it's a little bit chilly. We're gonna try these now. Let's get our reaction. <laughs> mm, it's nice. 
sweet. Yeah, very sweet. You don't get that much, but not a bad thing necessarily. Yeah. But the one we had before was called a Hugo, just Hugo, isn't it? Yes. Really, really like it. Something I had, I think I had the same sort of thing in Brussels, and I got the lady to write down the recipe because it was so good. But yeah, because it's cold and I don't have a jacket, I've literally just been shivering. <laughs> I've got like goosebumps. So I thought I'd sit in here and have a dessert cocktail instead, which I feel like is just going to warm me up a little bit, even though it's a cocktail. But Bailey's needs to kind of warm your stomach, doesn't it? So yeah, cheers. It was that good that we have ordered another one. It wasn't going to, but honestly, it's really, really nice. And I feel like it has warmed us up a little bit. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's not my birthday yet, because I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Guys, we've managed to get a spot in 26. You need to come here, come to Budapest. Look how amazing this is. You would have seen some clips of it, but literally it's so nice. Look at this. We've come at a really good time. It's five o'clock on a Friday and it's actually really empty. But yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure like, if there's hotel rooms or something, but there's all these rooms that back into it. Yeah, it's literally stunning. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Good morning guys, it is our last day now in Budapest And I'm gonna be honest, we're not feeling great today nearly one o'clock and we've not left the hotel room we've just got ready well i've just got ready i probably look better than i feel at this point but i feel like my face is looking quite puffy today from all the alcohol we definitely had too much to drink last night we definitely was out too late but we had a fun night so that's all that matters and yet again the food was amazing we went to that mexican which was so so good if you like mexican food definitely go down there we had tacos and case i don't know how you say it but anyway they were really really nice i think we had the pork tacos and then the other ones we had chicken and I definitely recommend it, it was really nice. And it was like really reasonably priced as well. I think we had, so we had like two mains and then we had a litre of a cocktail. And I think it was like, I'm sure it came to like 25 pound each or something like that, which was pretty good. That was that. We're now off for some lunch. We've completely missed breakfast. So yeah, we're going for some lunch now. And we're gonna head to a place called TG Osteria, which is basically an Italian. It looks really good. I've just found it on Google. There's really nice pizzas and pastas and stuff like that. And yeah. I would assume it will be lovely just like all the other food. Today's a lot more of a casual day. I just want to be comfortable. So I've just got on a bodysuit from, I think this is a pretty little thing. I've had it a really long time. I've then got my Adenola leggings on in the chocolate colour. I've then got my new New Balances on. I think these are the 530s. And I'm about to chuck on a trench coat as well just to kind of smarten the look up. Yeah, I'm feeling very, very bloated today. So it's just one of those days. Hey again guys, honestly, oh my god. Today has been an absolute write off. By the way, my face is so much darker than everywhere else. Um, I think I've caught the sun. My arms have been covered up, but yeah, I'm burnt underneath and then I've just done very heavy makeup accidentally. So I'm gonna put a bit of instant tanner on my arms in a sec. But yeah, we went for lunch, which was nice. I did accidentally order like a green pizza. I was a little bit disappointed when it came out. Well, very disappointed, but it actually was really good. I don't know what the green was. I think it was meant to be pesto, but it didn't taste like pesto. It was just 
weird but it was very nice definitely recommend that place again if i like keep saying it then we went for one cocktail and i thought oh that might perk me up it just made me feel even worse i was like no I, I can't actually get through this like i need a rest so yeah we came back to the hotel i had like an hour i was saying nap it wasn't even really a nap because i felt like i was actually awake for most of it but i genuinely feel a lot better now like, i've woken up and i feel like oh, like the evening can, can commence now rebecca's just popped out to get some water just quickly finishing getting ready and then we're going to head for some dinner I'm going to a place called i think it's called like com ches soy i went there before because i have actually been to budapest many years ago i think it was like when i was 21 and i remember this place was amazing so yes it's weird actually because although i've been to budapest i don't feel like i have been here before like i don't remember anything anyway so we're gonna go to this really nice restaurant it's like french sort of food but also italian as well and i remember having french onion soup and carbonara and like from what i remember it was just amazing so that's what i'm gonna get again and then that's literally it i think we're probably not gonna do too much tonight because we've got a really early flight tomorrow we've got to leave well i say really early we've got to leave the hotel about 7 a.m so you know it's an early start tomorrow we're not going out tonight obviously so kind of don't feel like there's any point in like drinking that much this evening we just kind of need an early night like a nice relax just pack away and all that stuff it's weird because it's gone quick but also i feel like we've had like a really nice amount of time here i think three days like the perfect amount of time so yeah if you're coming to budapest definitely book for three nights i feel like four or five nights would be too much i think three is like the perfect amount you could even do two to be honest but yeah three is like the perfect amount to do everything you want um we haven't done the baths which we we're going to do today but to be honest if you were just not feeling up for it there's like a big outdoor bath and then the thermal bath and then there's indoor like a spa one too I think that could have been fun to do, but yeah, we're just not um, in the mood for it. And we also wanted to go to the New York cafe, which looks amazing. But again, it's just like, you know, we've kind of run out of time. We don't need to go for any more food. So if I come back again, I'll probably check some places out next time. I definitely think I will come back. Like, I really like it here. It's so chilled. It's really friendly. I don't know, people are just very chilled here. Like, it's very different to a lot of cities I've been to before. And the food is incredible. The atmosphere is really nice. There's so many nice places to go. There's plenty of things to see. I just think it's a really lovely city. So, yeah, we met some really nice people last night as well. We made friends with this girl and her parents moved out here. She was like, they literally just came out here so often. They got to the point where they thought, why have we not moved out here? So, yeah, just shows you the sort of place it is. But yeah, in terms of my outfit, I've got this top on, which is from Zara, quite pretty. And then I've got these shorts on, which are also Zara. I did not realise how much I have burnt. Um, so, yeah. I thought I'd just finish up today by showing you guys the, this little chocolates we got from the restaurant we went to. Sorry that I'm not on the camera, but I look absolutely awful and I've got shower gel in my eye. So yeah, I look awful at the minute, but the meal was really nice and we had like a free starter a free dessert, lemoncello and wine and then they gave us these chocolates to take back like what a lovely touch and the price point was amazing as well so I'm not sure what's in here but yeah if you're looking oh they're like individual oh there's like actually loads look yeah we wanted something sweet so we're going to enjoy these in a second shame we can't have a cup of tea love no. a cup of tea and chocolate but yeah if you're looking to go to like a little restaurant it's very small I think it's family run it's been running for a really long time and the food is really good I definitely recommend it <laughs> 